Hey there gang, Patrick King here coming to you live again from Negley, Ohio, teaching this weekend at Simmons Equestrian Center here in Negley. Today's question is brought to us by Megan. And Megan asks, this year I've started to really get into cattle sorting. My biggest problem is to get my horse to move. I need him to be quicker and lighter on his feet, particularly when working the gait. When working him at home, he'll move just about any part of his body that I ask him to, but he does it rather slowly. Is it possible to train him to get quicker without harsh spurring, and how is that done? So uh, I'm going to address first this idea of the spurring. Is it possible to get your horse to move quicker without the harsh spurring? Yes, absolutely. Is it possible to get a horse quicker and confident with spurring? No, absolutely not. Think about what happens when you're spurring your horse, when you're poking and jabbing somebody uh, in the guts or in the muscles. What's going to happen is they're just going to contract those muscles. So you're really not going to be getting anywhere uh, anytime soon that's going to have any positive long-standing effect if we just get into spurring your horse to get him to move faster. Now, getting into the idea of getting him to move his body around a little quicker and a little lighter. Um, I would say a few years ago, well, quite a few years ago now, um, I asked my mentor, one of my mentors, Ray Hunt, a very similar question about getting my horse a little lighter and handier in their feet. And basically, uh, kind of the long and the short of it, what Ray told me was, I wasn't thinking down specifically to the feet. I wasn't helping my horse to prepare in those moments when I needed them to move uh, their feet quicker and lighter. So what you're going to want to think about, Megan, is where is your horse in his balance in that moment? Can you have his balance prepared and can you move exactly the foot that he needs to move when you need to move it? Now. That might sound simple, it might sound challenging, I don't know. The biggest challenge that we have though is that most riders are not thinking down to their horse's feet. They're just thinking, I want the front end to move over here. I want the back end to move over here. They're not actually thinking about how their horse needs to be organized underneath them in order to get that job done. So the first thing that you're going to need to do, the first order of business, is you're going to need to think down to the horse's feet. Understand where his feet are at all times. That's a challenge, I understand, but that's going to be essential for helping your horse to lighten up uh, under, under saddle for you, especially in those moments when you really need him uh, to do that. So getting him quicker uh, with the movement is going to come down to helping him understand better what you're asking him to do. In order to get this understanding to come through, you're going to have to actually slow down, which might seem backwards because what you're trying to get him to do is speed up. But the slowing down is really important. You've got to help him get confident with his understanding of your requests. And again, and I'm going to say it a million times, I'm going to sound like a broken record, you have to know where those feet are. You have to know where and how his body is organized within the placement of his feet and within his balance so that you can help him move the appropriate foot at the appropriate time. Or you could just get to kicking on him and shoving on him and just say, well, damn it, he ought to just get where he needs to be and he ought to hurry, because we see a lot of riders doing that. But, you know, it's interesting. We see a lot of riders doing that, but we don't ever see a lot of good riders doing that. And, and I think there's something to that, okay? So, so we've got to think down to their feet. Now, with this idea of being at the pennings uh, when you're having this problem, just kind of an interesting little note here, an interesting little story. Teaching a clinic this weekend, had some riders yesterday in an obstacle class. Toward the end of the obstacle class, I split them up into teams, uh, and we had a big ball. We set it up in the middle of the arena, you know, amongst the obstacles that we had. I set a little uh, like a little goal up, so it was kind of like a game of horse soccer. Uh, and the goal was to see who could get their ball into the opposite goal uh, first, right? Simple little idea. And I kind of did it with a point to prove. As soon as there was a little bit of a contest or a little bit of a challenge that involved the ball, that involved the other riders, that involved the pressure of a competition, riders stopped thinking about their horse's feet. 
We'd spent all day long thinking about our horse's feet, preparing steps, preparing movements, manipulating the horse's balance. But as soon as that challenge was presented and all the other factors that came into that were there, they forgot all about their horse's feet and just got to rushing and pushing and, and that sort of thing with their horses. Uh, so I, I'm going to say when you get to the pennings, really focus on your horse. When it comes down to it, the penning is secondary to the horsemanship. The job that you have, whatever it is, whatever job you have for your horse, has got to be secondary to your horsemanship. Okay? So, kind of a long answer to a short question. So, Megan, I hope this is helpful for you. In order to get your horse to get lighter and quicker on his feet, you've got to be thinking right down to his feet. You've got to think about getting the... Uh, control of the feet, getting those feet in your hands, essentially, getting them connected to your seat. So keep that in mind. Think about that. I hope that that's helpful to you. If this advice has been helpful to anybody else out here. Please feel free to share this video. If you have some friends that might need this advice, feel free to tag them in the comment section below this video as well. Uh, question of the day for us today. So we're talking about Megan's horse needing to get quicker with the chosen competition that she has. Do you compete with your horse or do you participate with your horse in any specific disciplines um, like this? You know, the cow working disciplines, maybe you're a dressage rider. Let me know. Share your comments uh, or share your answers in the comment section below this video. I look forward to reading them. Don't forget, gang, you keep asking questions and I'll keep talking about horses. Thanks so much.